Okay, I've got all the cedar pulled off. I've got the desktop gone. What I need to do next is uh, pull, remove this wall. And over on this side we have all this cedar i got to take off. And then I'll take the sheetrock off. I also need to remove that light fixture, that piece of rafter. And we'll, we, I, I can't make any measurements or, you know, determine the length of my stringers until I get the clear path. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Hopefully get the stringers cut and put in place. Uh, no guarantees, but I also got to re remove that light fixture. So I'm going to get busy. I'm not, I'm not. All right, we're through. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of work to do to get this ready for str uh, stringers. Uh, what I want to do, hopefully, is come to this with the steps. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not going to know until I shoot some measurements. Uh, if I have to, <laughs> trying to avoid using this one. Because then i got to move all this electrical and uh, plumbing. I don't want to get into that. So, uh, what I'm trying to avoid is coming way out here which right where you see my foot is where the old steps came to and you've seen how steep they were but they went actually right to there I believe I don't remember I'll have to look at the pictures uh, I may have to build a landing or something right here to give me some height we were going to call it quits for the day it looks like it's clouding up the rain I got a bunch of lumber to get in so I'm going to tell you guys, it's a tricky one, man, because <laughs> I'm going to have to come out. i got a couple ideas, and i got to decide on which one I'm going to do. But, you know, basically, I don't want steps halfway out in the room. And to make the steps that, you know, that are comfortable, that's how it's got to be. So i got to come up with something unique. And, uh, you know, you guys can come up with ideas, but you can't tell what I'm working with here. You can't judge the distance. Only I can do that. I figured out all the rest of it. I'll figure this out. Uh, but I do have a few ideas that will work. I should have the materials, but <laughs> it's a challenge. You know, the guy that built this house, he screwed up big time by not planning right for the stairs in this bathroom. This, this thing kills me. It's on a raised platform. You know, the bathroom's higher than the foundation, which screws everything up. So it makes it hard. Now i got to deal with that door because i got to get in the bathroom. So, But uh, I'm going to do this the way I do everything. I'll sit and look at it, and I'll look at it, and look at it, and I'll figure it out. That's what... And we're back. I'm about an hour into this project. I... Uh... Got the floor joist in for the closet because that's got to go in before I even start building on this landing. Uh, I still got to put joist in the in the middle there. I'm going to use two by fours for that because I don't have but one more of these left, and I need it. Now, I'm not going to have enough two by eights. These are two by eights, by the way. Uh, I'm going to say what I'm doing. I'm just going to stop in once or come on once in a while and film it, let y'all see. Uh, as you can see, it's gonna it's gonna take up a little room in here. All right, I gotta cut one more piece of plywood for the top here. I ain't worried about the square corners. I got something coming for that. Uh, gotta wait till it's done. But this way, I can access this from any direction. Very strong. There's 40 feet of two by eights in there. Uh, I didn't really want it this big, but I don't care. We are starting all over. I took out the landing. I've got a fresh new idea. The landing wasn't going to help me any. So what I've done 
taking the landing out up here I've got all this all that uh, joists that were going across there uh, I didn't cut those those were cut years ago I did cut that one a few years back and basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build a landing just above the door like I said I probably wasn't gonna do well it's the third day of the build it's actually like several days past the first day but uh, I've cut out these boards that the stairs will rest on I've got them all leveled uh, I didn't get much time yesterday to work it was late when I got started but I did get these cut out and I got that one step up there now these are going to be steep I've already put a few up there and seen uh, as you can see I've got some cut out already I've got about six more to go and so this morning I'm gonna start cut some more of these put them on you know they don't look the best <coughs> this is something I can I'll probably paint or I'll cover where you won't see all this we'll, we'll see where we get but it you know <laughs> looks more like an outdoor set of steps but uh, when I'm all set when it's all said and done it's gonna it's not gonna look bad you'll see hopefully and uh, I did pick up two gallons of paint so I can get up there and start painting this week and uh, we'll probably be starting on that tomorrow and uh, I'm kind of may wait to put cedar and stuff on here for a while uh, until I get everything up here fixed up so all right let's get out and start cutting stop at this point I've wasted some lumber but uh, I should have enough out there to do it right and I should have done that in the first place uh, building steps ain't easy but I gotta build them right so stay tuned and let me get this tour out get some new and I'm gonna put two by twelves in what yeah two by twelves instead of these two by tens gives me more to work with all right guys all right guys if i'm out of breath it's because i've been making a hundred trips back and forth uh i went ahead and made stringers uh man it comes way out but you know what at this point i don't care i will make a set of drawers or something in there uh i still got room you know i had to cram my bed way back there but it don't matter but i still got room and but man these are going to be so safe going up and uh Hopefully I don't have to do a third stringer. I shouldn't because I had those across on them and they were very strong. So I'll have the closet in there. And uh, as soon as I get these adjusted right, I will start cutting stairs. Now I had to go with an eight inch tread instead of a 10. Otherwise it'd have been way out there. Eight inch is fine, I'll overhang it. So it'll be actually almost nine, that's plenty. But the problem I was having with the old way I had it they were okay going upstairs although they were steep but when you came down you didn't have you had to put your ankle on there it was just like the old ones I tore out and I can't have that okay guys it's been about an hour and 45 minutes since uh, I was here last I was too short two stairs short of board so I used two by fours on the top two I ain't been up there yet other than putting the stairs together, so let's go up together. These are strong. So 
first time I'm walking up here normally. And here we are. I gave these stairs a coat of paint. I want them to look a little less construction, you know. Now I gotta clean up all this mess today, get all this extra wood out of here. Uh, you know, it's not gonna, those aren't the permanent. I, I looked at them, uh, the wood on these steps. I don't think they're not the ones I'm gonna choose to be permanent, but they're good for now. But I, I didn't like looking at raw wood. Some of them were older boards and they look different colors. So I think they, they look good. And that light color, it won't show dirt as bad. Got all the risers on. Now there's some gaps in some of them. That's because some of these boards uh, were bowed a little bit. And there is a little give in the middle. So I will come around to the other side of the stairs. I will attach a, uh, like a cleat back there where those will pull down and uh, then you won't have this, this bowing in the middle. Can't have that. All right, I went ahead and put a coat of linseed oil on all of them, and I like it. That looks so much better. Uh, I was wanting to leave that natural, like that color there, but with the dark rail and everything, it just, it looks better that way. Put another coat on the railing, on everything, and it looks better. <laughs> Big hole's gone. That side is done to the top step. Then I got to figure out how I want to proceed from there. But I've got the board and batten on here. <laughs> 